Hi, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Furlan Engineering Education Design Center. This is a $78 million project that we've just opened for our students. This building is going to be the center of engineering education at the University of Maine. So let's head on inside and let me, let's give you a tour. We've just come inside the north entrance of the building. I'm standing in front of the campus Welcome and STEM Outreach Center. When prospective students come for a tour, this is where they're going to start in this wonderful building. This is true for engineering majors and actually all the majors on the University of Maine campus. This is also used for STEM outreach. We're going to be working with K through 12 students to increase their interest in pursuing careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, this is a capacity of over 100 uh, when set up as, as, uh, as seats. Uh, and we also have work tables here so we can have STEM groups in here working. So now we're gonna go into the student project design suite. This is the heart of our new building. So let's go inside this space and I'll show you what's there. So let's head on inside. What we have in this space is we have, we have 44 workbenches. We can assign a bench to a group of students for a semester or a year. So for our, our, our students, this can be your piece of the University of Maine assigned to you. You can take and build your projects on top. They can be in states of partial assembly. You're going to do your debugging work here. You've got store lockable storage underneath so you can keep your stuff here. So this is truly your space. Now, if all we had was 44 workbenches, this wouldn't be very exciting space. But what makes this space really exciting is the shops that surround it. So as we take and look off to this corner right over here, and let's actually walk over that way. So what we have uh, back in here, this is our wood shop. So we've got a fully operational wood shop. Next to it, we have the metal shop. Then as we go into the corner, we've got our vehicle shop. So let's take a walk over there and we'll see some of the things that are happening over in that corner. As we go in, uh, I do want to point out our, our snowmobile that we converted, our students converted, to run off of compressed natural gas. Uh, this is a very involved project that required them to refabricate the frame, uh, change over the fuel system. And this is just an example of the kind of things we'll be working on in this space. So now let's actually go into the vehicle shop. And as we come into this space and we look directly behind me, certainly we see that we've got a garage door because if you've got a vehicle shop, you've got to be able to get your vehicles in and out. You've got nice workbench spaces to work on. You can see we've got our welders have now come into the building. Uh, and uh, this is nice, bright, open space. Also, when you take a look at a space like this, what you have is you've got a pedestrian walkway that's just outside this space. So people walking outside are going to be able to look and see all the cool things that are happening inside this space. So now we're going to take and work our way up to the other half of the student project design suite. So now we're coming across on the connecting walkway. We have more storage that we can have for students uh, to take and store their projects. We work our way into the connecting hallway. Uh, then we go off to this side over here. This is our tool crib where we can ha take and check out uh, tools and provide, uh, and provide materials for students working on projects. And then we go into the uh, second uh, workbench area here. So now we're into this workbench area. Uh, what we have is more shops. We have shops that are specifically for biomedical engineering, then shops for electronics, and then a 3D printing shop. So what we have here is we've got the ability for students to go out into shops take and fabricate their components. Things, the first time an engineer puts something together, it doesn't necessarily work perfectly, so they can take and debug it, then go out to the appropriate shops and make modifications. These are fully equipped shops to allow students to take and work on their projects. Any student uh, who has basic safety training can take and work in these shops uh, because we have built this for our students. So to summarize what we have here is we've got 44 workbenches. We can assign a workbench to a group of students for a semester or a year, and it's surrounded by shops. We have shops for biomedical engineering, electronics, 3D printing, a tool crib, vehicle shop, metal shop, and wood shop, and composite shop. 
This is the best space of its kind in the Northeast, and it's here at the University of Maine. Now we're inside the composite shop, which is part of the student project design suite. What we have is benches where students can do composite layups. We have the right types of uh, fume extraction equipment in here. Uh, we have, uh, we can actually see a project our students worked on. Uh, this is a unmanned aerial vehicle that our students have been working on. And these are the kind of things you'd make in this, this, this wonderful space. We're also gonna have what's called an autoclave. So you can actually take and basically cook your uh, your, your, uh, your layups and actually produce very sophisticated composite parts. And again, this is part of the student project design suite. Now we're gonna go in the Pratt & Whitney Tool Lab suite. Uh, this space is, is very critical for our students in mechanical engineering technology. So let's actually go through the door into the first part of this space. So now we're in uh, the classroom part of this, of this area where we've got uh, about a dozen uh, chairs here and desks for students to take and get uh, work with the instructor to get ready to actually go in the labs. We have, as we look off to the side here, we've got places for students to store their book bags, places to hang up their coats. When they're ready to go, then they actually come down into the laboratory. So we've got this connecting hallway coming into the labs here. And now we're in the heart of the Pratt & Whitney uh, Tool Lab Suite, where we have our metal lathes, our milling machines, CNC milling machines, for students to get real hands-on experience. If you're a mechanical engineering technology student, this particular room is gonna be at the heart of your undergraduate education. We're now standing in the Packaging Corporation of America Commons. This is a gathering place for students. One of the things that attracts students to a space is food. So we have food service over there in the corner that's gonna be staffed by UMaine Dining Services. We've got lots of comfortable seating here. We already have students working in this wonderful space and we've built this space for you. Spaces to come and work, space to come and hang out, spaces to get a bite to eat. As we can see off to the side, we've got two stories of glass. This is the south side of the building. So lots of natural light, making this a very bright and inviting space. We're now in the second floor part of the Student Commons. This is named uh, by Consigli Construction, who was the construction managers for this project. Again, we've got more comfortable seating up here, places where students can hang out, work together in groups, work individually, because we want this to be the hangout place for engineering students from across all of our 11 different engineering disciplines. Not only do we have this kind of hangout space here, we look at spaces off to the side here, we have team meeting rooms. This is a team meeting room that sets six people. We have 12 of these in the building that sits between five and 10, depending on which, uh, which room you pick. These rooms you're gonna be able to go onto your cell phone, use an app to reserve one of these spaces for you and some of your classmates. Uh, your name will appear on an electronic display on the door. And this again is your space for your use uh, uh, as you study at the University of Maine. And we have 12 of these as we go up through the building. We're still in the second floor part of the Student Commons, but a different perspective. Uh, if we look off to the side here, we're looking down into the first floor part of the Commons. We're gonna have presentations here where we can have a speaker uh, down on the first floor. We can have folks up here at the balcony level taking and participating in the, in, in the presentation. Uh, I will add that the AV system for this building, just the AV system is $1.5 million. You can get a good AV system for $1.5 million. Then if you look up behind me here, you can see the connecting bridge to Boardman Hall. We're still in the second floor part of the Student Commons. Now we're in the part that's looking down into the, uh, the first floor part. This is the area where we can have uh, presenters down on the first floor. We can be up here on the second floor, up at the, basically the balcony level. Multiple display screens so people can see all, the uh, see all the cool things that the presenters are talking about. The area that's right behind me here, uh, this is nice, uh, nice uh, bar stool height uh, seating where students can just take and work, plug in their, their laptops uh, in a very, very wonderful environment. Now we're at our, our student clubs room. This belongs to the 18 student clubs that are in the College of Engineering. This is their space. They're gonna be in charge of scheduling this space. 
They can use it for meetings. Uh, they're going to be a large screen display so they can take and uh, display uh, videos and whatever they need to. Uh, this space is owned by the students, but I will point out that we have put in windows so we can still see what's going on in there. But this is an example of how we've built this space for our students. We're now in one of several informal seating areas for students in the building. This one is named in honor of Henry Saunders, who's one of our mechanical engineering graduates. Uh, and the intent of this is to provide space for students to hang out, work together, uh, relax, and these are scattered throughout the building, and we've done this for you, our students. We're standing inside one of our collaborative classrooms in the building. This is a place where we have students come together and work in groups. This particular room is set up in groups of six, and let's take a look at one of the uh, setups here. So what we have is these D-shaped tables. So the students sit around the table, work together on problems under the guidance of the faculty member. What we have is we have a large screen display at the head of each table. Any student sitting at the table can wi 